All right, all right. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me on this episode of your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, it won't even make any form of sense if I do not admit that there is serious fire on the mountain. And just as the famous singer Asha said, nobody seems to be on the run. The APC went from completely destroying the present to destroying the near future of this country. Now, they want to extend that destruction further into the future. If you have been following, you would have heard that Buhari had the CBN print 30 trillion naira for him and his cronies. They embezzled the money. That way, they ate into the country's future. Now, Tinubu has started printing money. He is also going to take a loan of $750 million with a 10-year moratorium, meaning repayment of the loan starts after 10 years when he will be long gone and the repayment will be done over 40 years. He has eaten into the future. But few hours ago, a report surfaced that completely shattered me. This administration is once again going to eat up the future of this country in the most heartbreaking manner. These guys are set to begin to start spending from civil servants' pension funds. This government has started touching the 20 trillion naira civil servants' pension savings. Few hours ago, Nigerian Labour Congress just walked out of a meeting with the Minimum Wage Tripartite Committee where they are suggesting that they will raise the minimum wage to 48,000. Civil servants stood up and walked out. They said the money is too small. You can't pay them, but the pensions that they have saved up, you are going there to begin to embezzle it. Can you see that there is fire on the mountain? Before I show you that report on the attack on pension fund and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this shocking update. This government said there is no money to pay any kind of subsidies. They are imposing and increasing taxes daily to generate funds for government. They are still struggling with minimum wage, but look at what they have approved 90 billion naira for. Tinubu approved 90 billion to subsidize cost of 2024 Hajj, says Shetima. The Nigerian government says it has spent the sum of 90 billion naira to subsidize the cost of 2024 Hajj pilgrimage for citizens. This was revealed by Kashim Shetima on Wednesday at the inauguration of the 2024 National Hajj operation held at the Saamadu Bello International Airport, Benin Kebi, the Kebi state capital. You may recall that this year, we had a major challenge in announcing the final Hajj fair for the 2024 Muslim pilgrimage due to fluctuation in foreign exchange rates. Shetima was quoted as saying by the news agency of Nigeria. He continued, Tinubu also walks around the clock to control the downward spiral of our local currency to bring relief to our pilgrims and other Nigerians, a move that eventually succeeded in lowering the fare. Tinubu approved the release of 90 billion to subsidize the cost of pilgrimage for this year's Hajj. Due to this high regard, the government took time to carefully select men of integrity with administrative acumen and records of selfless dedication to manage the affairs of the National Hajj Commission of Nigeria in the interest of Nigerian pilgrims. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Mudiaga says, I still don't get it. What benefit does this bring to Nigeria? Nigerians are hungry and the economy is in disarray. Talk about priorities. These ones don't care. They don't care. And this tweet here says, misplaced priority. Tell me how we would move forward in a country that subsidizes pilgrims to enable its citizens to go and worship God of Israel and of Saudi Arabia, but gives loans to students. That, that's a very big question. And in case somebody will say it is Christians that are complaining, Hassan Abdullahi, who is also a Muslim, wrote, he said, is this right? Who is subsidizing who? If anyone can go for Hajj, they are buoyant. Why not focus on minimum wage and get foodstuffs prices down, please? 
That is it. Hassan is saying, you who decided to go for Hajj should know if you can or if you can't. So, why should the government be subsidizing it for you? And another Muslim here, Babalola Said, says, Who sent you? Person we won't go for Hajj should go on their own. We need food now, not pilgrimages. Anyway, how are we even sure that the money self go reflect on what they want to do it for? That is it. I can tell you boldly that more than half of that money is going to be embezzled. That is the reason that commission was even formed. That Hajj commission form and all these pilgrimages commissions to embezzle funds. How can we be doing this with the current state of the economy? And you want to tax the people. You want to make the people pay through their noses. So this is what you want to do with all the money. Now, let us look at that plan by the Tinubu administration to begin to spend from the 20 trillion naira pension funds. And it was actually PDP's presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar, that cried out and said, no, this evil plan must be halted. Look at how the papers reported it. Halt plan to spend 20 trillion pension fund of hardworking Nigerians, Atiku tells Tinubu. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar has raised some concern about Tinubu's administration's plan to tamper with the 20 trillion pension funds to finance critical infrastructure projects across the country. The coordinating minister for the economy and minister of finance, Wale Edu, on Tuesday, after the Federal Executive Council announced that the government had unveiled a strategic plan to harness the 20 trillion pension fund and other locally available resources for infrastructure development in Nigeria. According to Edun, the government is focused on tapping into domestic financial resources, particularly pension and life insurance funds, to leverage local funds for national growth. He added that it was a significant step towards driving the economy progress and addressing critical infrastructure needs. Reacting to the statement, Atiku, a former presidential candidate of the PDP, described the news as disturbing. He said the move must be halted immediately. He insisted that it was a misguided initiative that could lead to disastrous consequences on the lives of Nigeria's hard-working men and women who toiled and saved and now survive on their pensions after their retirement from office. Atiku, who took to his ex-account to voice his concerns, wrote, My attention is drawn to a disturbing disclosure by the Finance Minister and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, as he addressed State House correspondents after the Federal Executive Council meeting at the Presidential Villa on Tuesday, 14th May. There is, according to the Minister, a move by the Federal Government to rev up economic growth by unlocking $20 trillion from the nation's pension fund and other funds to finance critical infrastructure projects across the country. The Minister has indicated that although the initiative is expected to attract foreign investment interest over time, domestic savings are his immediate focus for now. He provided no useful details, such as the percentage of the funds to be mopped up from the pension funds, for example. Even at that, this move must be halted immediately. It is a misguided initiative that could lead to disastrous consequences of the lives of Nigeria's hard-working men and women who toiled and saved and who now survive on their pensions having retired from service. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Frontliners Incorporation says, Oh boy, these people are just emptying any votes in with cash. And that is very bad. And Rufai Oseni had to tweet to this one. He said, don't touch pension fund, oh, don't touch the future. That is what is happening here. These guys are just eating into the future and Nigerians are watching. They said they want to tap into pension funds so that they can attend to critical infrastructure within the country. How about all the loans they've been taking? How about the crude oil sales? Is it that Nigeria does not have any shishi again? Why not go and collect the trillions of naira that Buhari printed and use those ones for critical infrastructure? 
oh i forgot you are also printing your own and you don't want anybody to disturb you when you are gone tit for tat and when they talk about attending to critical infrastructure i can swear with my head on a gulotin that that the 15 trillion naira coastal highway project is one of the projects atop their list why because shei tinubu is involved in that project so now they will take money from the pension funds pension funds of civil servants who have worked tirelessly for so many years they will dip their hands into the pension funds and use it to fund projects and begin to embezzle put the money in projects that and begin to embezzle directly and indirectly but we will continue to talk to nigerians we will continue to spread the news that the apc have come to steal to kill and to destroy and if nigerians want to have peace if nigerians want to have their country back if they want nigeria to one day take its place in the committee of nations and if they want citizens to begin to leave like people who are citizens of an oil producing state we need to get up cast our sentiments aside and take our country back but until then make i still enter town <laughs> make i go get some Ogbonge political news where will i go like why because now because of una now i did here so don't go away don't go away.